So I am now recording. We go right there. Let me make sure I do this. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you for bearing with me. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, so here we go. My name is Lorenzo once again. Y'all know who I am. Just make sure you spell my name different. L-A-W-R-E-N-Z-O. J-A-C-O-B-S. I'm everywhere like air. But today, it's not about me. I'm interviewing... Ananda from Fam You. We're gonna mm -hmm. dig deep into where she is going with her education, what she learns, and a whole lot more. So, welcome to the show, Ananda. How you feeling today? Hi. Thank you so much for having me. I'm feeling great today. I, I have been excited to look forward to this interview. So, let's get to it. I've actually been just ready prepping myself you know just trying to get in that groove like I had said earlier usually I'm the one interviewing people so this is gonna be different for me getting interviewed so I'm excited <laughs> yeah that's dope like I like I said we're just gonna have like a regular conversation I have a few questions I want to yeah. ask um but yeah let's just start off Ananda um for everybody that don't know who are you like what, what what's your name um what school you go to what you majoring in tell people a little bit about yourself okay my name is ananda brandy i am 24 years old and i am a famu graduating senior i am enrolled right now and i am my major is broadcast journalism so that's what I've been doing so far for the past few years. I first started off at TCC, our community college in Tallahassee, and I was a transfer student and went over to FAMU. So that's where I'm at right now, continuing my broadcast journalism bachelor's degree. Sounds impressive. Sounds impressive. That's pretty cool. So what, what brought you or what? magnetized you to broadcasting? I felt like my entire life I've been involved in media since little. My mom told me I've always been, you know, wanting to act and wanting to be a part of something back home. I've been in shows since I was about two years old. I remember taking part in one of our school's talent shows and they were on stage and I was the main character so my mom told me girl I've always seen that in you I've known that you've always wanted to do these things so this is what led you to this right now in college I also used to always write I'm a writer that's my greatest skill I love writing and I remember when I was little, I used to write little books of poems and poetry and just read it to people that my mom knew. My mom worked at a university. She was a secretary at the University of St. Martin because that's where I'm from. I'm from the island of St. Martin. I'll get more into that later, but my mom as the secretary I used to hang out at the school after I finished my schooling. And uh, I used to always interact with the students there and read them the poetry that I used to sit down and write. So I've always been studious as well. So that's a little background story. I've always been involved in media, always been wanting to be the main character of the crowd and just always wanted to showcase my natural talent. <laughs> hey, that's pretty that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so 
you have a, a natural upbringing and it brought you into a major where you're looking to even further it once you get out of school. And, oh, yeah. And, and that's and that is something that is impressive in itself because a lot of people have found themselves lost in what they really want to do and or get out of school yeah. and, and not in the field that they have major in. So tell me and tell the people, what do you plan on doing with your major and all the things that you've accumulated through experience moving forward in the next five years or so? <laughs> okay, well, whoo, I'm making 25 this year. So in the next five years, I'll be 30. And I expect to see myself owning my own business where I can showcase all of my talents and as well as youth talent. I love working with kids. I love working with teens and whatnot. And I know they definitely have a foundation where they start learning more about who they are and they start utilizing their talents. Because I remember being a teenager and I just needed that extra push or I needed that organization that's willing to help so I see myself at 30 running my own not school but maybe like a little organization where I help the youth see what they want to do in life and I can help them reach that goal talent -wise. like writing acting photography so I definitely want to work with some kids at that age but let's say right after college, I do want to continue some internships. Right now I'm interning at TCC, which is our community college that I did graduate from and got my AA. Right now I'm interning there and I'm running the TCC social media, the Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. So I make videos. I work with students, with young students and whatnot. I make videos, I write scripts, I act, I edit, and I put the videos together. So I'd love to continue that for maybe different establishments. And then maybe at 30, I have my own establishment where I can help the students. <laughs> yeah, no, for, no, for sure. You, you didn't, I know you don't know, but me and how I do my business you're really on uh, also an in, uh, literally an interview where that's something that I do and have been doing for a multitude of years um, okay. is being able to get a young, moldable, impressionable, legal mind and, yeah. and be able to have those natural talents, gifts, uh, passions, desires that you're already geared towards and be able to mold and just really pour a little bit of extra business, um, marketing, advertising, sales into yeah. the mix of it because I have found that having my own business, that the foundation is always not just exposure, but how you're able to monetize what you have, especially living in a capitalistic society, which we find ourselves in now. So right. that's, that's that's pretty cool because um, it lets me know that I'm interviewing the correct people. So, you know. <laughs> that's, you're also on your path as well. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, exactly, that's exactly why I set these interviews up, these real conversations, unrehearsed, unscripted, but yeah. having a, a real dialogue of what we can continue to produce. And because it's documented, like in the space capsule, we three, five years from now, we can come back and say, well, what have we done based off of the words that we've used? Because that's one of my philosophies that if you can speak it and you can really define it and use it in a words, in word where it creates a world visually in your own mind and the minds of others that you use those words to, then you can truly have power and create that into 
a reality that is tangible that you can touch. So, exactly. Once you can see it, you can achieve it. That's what I always say. Once you have that vision, all you got to do is move your feet and get to that goal that you need to get to. So I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now that we're getting a little deeper then, <laughs> let me ask you this then. So what are some of the things that led up to you wanting to go ahead and follow through with your major and know and, and say, well, I'm going to take this so serious that I'm going to build my, sure. uh, my portfolio, get an internship, you know, yeah. get on the other side of the interviewing table and see, you know, just do a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> well, when I was in high school, um, I went to high school in St. Martin. So I'm not from Florida, but I came from a little island called St. Martin. And back in high school, I had always been the student who used to bring her camera to school and go to the different events and take pictures of students and always get involved. I was always a part of different organizations on campus like um, the Interact Club and we had to do certain things like I was always the photographer I always had to maybe make posts and print out little flyers that I had to create so I've always been involved and I always thought about going to college and when I was in high school and I always wanted to just do something where I'm a part of an organization that, you know, just gives information to others, like promoting marketing and just being generalized and just giving information. And I was also a part of the newspaper team back home. So we had a teen times. It was the teenage version of the whole newspaper. And I was a writer in high school as well. So because I was involved with the photography and everything else, I was able to go to these things, get stories and then write about it in the newspaper. So I said, I need to go to college to do this. I like meeting people, asking people questions, getting to know more about them as well. And then fam, you had always been my, one of my top choices. Like I said, my mom, worked as a secretary at the University of St. Martin and the University of St. Martin and FAMU and TCC and FSU, Tallahassee, we have a sister connection when it comes to students transferring. So a lot of students there were going to FAMU. We had one close friend and she always told me about FAMU and how FAMU has a good program for students like you. Like she could have also seen me at FAMU doing journalism when she was there when I was little. So she always saw me going there and I looked into it and I was like, these, these students look like my type of people. And the journalism students look like literally the people who I need to be around. And cause this is who I am. And I just felt at home as soon as I stepped on campus and started getting involved in classes, I just knew I made the right choice because I could have foreseen myself since high school just being a part of this. And I made it a reality. Like we just said, once you can see it, you can go achieve it. So I did that and I'm graduating in December. So I felt like a milestone is about to really take part in my life. Okay, that's dope. So what, <laughs> do, you, what, what do you say to the youngster that doesn't know what they want to do or they have maybe um, no thing that they can say that they have a passion or desire towards like, like how, how did you find, like what would you say to a youngster like that? I'd say really like everybody, no matter who you are, you were born with some sort of natural ability figure out what that is first before you move forward because some people might not be in that type of environment where they can express themselves 
to find out who they truly are. But once you figure out who you truly are, you'll you'll figure out what it is that you want to do with the rest of your life. And I feel like as a teenager, you know, it's very important for you to find out and figure out what you want to do. And I know I know sometimes it might be a little little blank you might get because I know at a point too I was wondering what I wanted to do but because I had different passions I felt like I had different routes to choose some people might not know which route that they gotta go but they need to understand that they do have natural abilities so they just need to find it find like-minded minds who can help them bring that out of them and they'll realize this is really what I wanted to do and these are the type of people that I need to be around because this is who I am so I say just find your click find your natural ability and just be true to who you are yeah that yeah that's real I I I totally agree with that because I say to people all the time if they have a whole lot of ideas and they don't know which one to choose from a it's better to have a whole lot of options than yes. you so you know pick pick one you know your your favorite one drop them yeah. down to maybe four three two and dip and dabble and see if how those things kind of connect like what i'm doing now uh, yeah so yeah that's that, that that's pretty cool for show though they always connect yes for sure they always connect somehow it'll 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 all connect like like me personally I like talking so yeah I I would say anything dealing with communication that I can promote advertise perfect and master the craft of communication influence anything that dealing with dialogue articulation words being a master of all of those things and even the mindset behind it uh, behind it because like right now personally I'm studying like stoicism so just being more stoic in my ways okay let me ask you if you had a superpower what kind of superpower would you have like and the reason for that Oh, 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 this is a good one. I've always thought about it, but hmm, I always thought about having invent invisibility. Like sometimes I do want to just be invisible where no one can see me, and I, I don't know. I think that might be one of my my bad superpowers. There might be good superpowers and bad, but my my bad superpower, I want to be invisible because I sometimes I just don't want people to see my next move and I know eyes are always on me. But one of my good powers, huh, I don't know. I've always wanted to be invisible, but I, I think what I wish I can do is teleport. That's what i was able to do just teleport from here to where i want to be not only mentally but physically because mentally i can be somewhere else but physically i wish i can just snap and just be wherever i gotta be in a in a in a whole nother time and place would you be able to go to like a whole time time and place i would definitely go back in time I don't know if I would alter it because you know every show we watch don't mm-hmm. alter the past you don't know what you're gonna do to the future that's a world dimension <laughs> continuum even dimensions yes because I personally feel like we have different realms okay right now we're in a we're in a simulation type of realm right now and I feel like there is something else out there and I feel really really wish I would it was able to just snap and just see what I believe is there because I truly really believe there's other realms there are <laughs> so no they, they definitely like like I yeah. said right now um the podcast you want I believe the power in the power of words and being able to manifest those words 
into yeah. a form of tangible reality. So my superpower will be just that, being able to have a form of powerful telepathy that I could influence the minds of others to bend to, towards my own personal will, you know, so. I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of that, yeah, I, I think I, I I would like to be able to go be uh invisible at times, you know. Um uh, and and regardless of my superpower, I would use it, I would use it in balance for good and so-called evil and bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I was cool. <laughs> right. How, how I'm gonna have a, a superpower that I don't I don't do, you know, my little thing behind closed doors, you know what I mean? So yeah, for sure. That's dope. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so um so you go on to school. What do you do like on because it sounds like you you're ending your year, you're a senior, right? Yeah. So like school is just now coming back into session, things oh, yeah. back in. What do you have planned for this year? Um, heading out the door, like, are you going to take a break, come back? Like, you know, you're going to continue your education. Like, what do you see with that? Okay, so with what I want to do, I really would love to, after I graduate, I really want to just step right back into the internship world and just get more experience. And then probably get a job in my field because I really love working along with people and my peers and younger um, students as well. So I really want to continue doing that. Just the young, young youthful journalism, just go around interviewing and just figuring out things about the community and how to help. But I do want to get my master's in communications and marketing. So Probably after graduation, I do want to take a little breather to do those internships and get the experience. But I really, really, really want to do communications and marketing because I love promotion. I love marketing. I've worked with different promo teams. I've promoted different, uh, um, I'm sorry. I, I've, <laughs> I'm sorry. Now you I, could. Yeah, you could. Oh, oh, oh mom. <laughs> I've done promo for different jobs and different organizations as well. I have done some marketing before and also on Instagram and Snapchat and um, Facebook. I do different marketing too for, for companies and um, maybe even private people might ask me, hey, can you um, promote my business for me? Um, could you help me make a flyer and all of those things? So I really love marketing and communication. So okay. I'll take care after. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I'm glad I'm interviewing you. I'm, I'm <laughs> even able to uh, tap into some of this, this future wellness and anyone else that's hearing this and listening or watching this, they're going to be able to tap in with you. You know, uh, in fact, shoot, how can a person get in contact with you? If they was looking to give you an opportunity for an internship or, you know, how, how can a person really get in contact with you that you're going to respond? Okay. I do have a personal Facebook at Ananda Brandy. And I do have a professional Instagram, Ananda, A-N-A-N-D-A-H dot brandy b-r-a-n-d-y so that's ananda.brandy and you can find me there and you can definitely shoot me an, a message and i will definitely get back to you fastest way as well too would be my email brandy ananda at gmail.com so same spelling brandy and then ananda is a-n-a-n-d-a-h okay so cool and anybody that said oh she has an accent she said it too quickly y'all can just re rewind 
Pause, <laughs> rewind again. That's the beautiful yeah. thing about technology. <laughs> go back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> dig that, dig that, dig that. All right, that's that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Yeah. All right, so let's see. So tell us then, what do you do when you're not in school? Okay. When I'm not in school, not doing my journalism work, not doing videos, pictures, interviews, I am cooking. I love to cook. That's really something that I always do because, you know, a girl got to eat. <laughs> but... <laughs> What you like eat? What you like cooking? I really throw down really well because I have mentioned I'm Caribbean. So my mom, she cooked all the time. She had her own little uh, cookery at home where she sold food on Saturdays. So I grew up in a cooking family. My aunt cooks. They've had different um, booths at our carnival and where they cooked and sold food. My mom had her business home where she was cooking and selling food. My dad and all, they cook and sell food and whatnot. So the family loves to cook and I, I was able to get that skill, thankfully, thank God, because yeah, you definitely got it in your DNA. If you if if everybody oh, cooking, like yeah, you couldn't have not not know how to cook. That is exactly. a personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> she would have been like, you ain't my daughter if you were not able to cook. I had to get it, but I had started my own cooking business, which I will definitely get back into. Okay. I um I started a pizza business last year and it's gonna open back real soon but I sold pizza wings and calzones and pates mm. for being people who know what pates are like little um beef pates chicken pates cheese mm. Oh, yeah. So I had some good things on the menu and I do want to up it up a bit and put actual plates where I cook rice, chicken, um, macaroni, pasta, salad, this, that. I want to actually cook plate plates. Okay. So add that to the menu. But that Instagram is at NovaPizza.N.Tings with a Z. Mm -hmm. T and gz so you'd be able to find anything that i cooked there for the past year when i actually had the business running but because i just moved now everything is gonna get back over switch over to this spot so i'm very excited on that as well so that's something i do when i'm not in school and not working and doing those journalism things i am cooking <laughs> that yeah you 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 already got me a little hungry you know the the <laughs> mind is so strong listen the, while you was talking about that and you said the, the just the way you said pat tags i said oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know that's the, not really it's not a patty it's a pat tag yeah. i'm like oh man i'm ready to eat real thing. Dude, that's <laughs> the real thing yes the real thing not not a real thing a real thing i'm hey. ready to eat Four real things look like Nova Pizza and Tings, real thing. <laughs> hey, it's real. It is real. So before yeah. we get up out of here, I like to ask one last deep question. You know, yeah. I'm not a shallow person. So I, I do want to end just uh, on a deep note. What would you want the world to know about you a hundred years from now? That's a deep question. Um, I definitely want to leave my mark here. A hundred years from now, that's 21, 22. Um, wow, that's a question you got to marinate on. But I, I definitely, I feel like we're definitely going into a visual and media world anyways so I don't think it's gonna be like a hundred years back then when people wanted to leave time capsules just so that we can figure out I feel like 
I feel like my face gonna be plastered all over. I I feel like my name might be branded all over because I do want to have my brand just out there in a hundred years from now because we'll be so virtual and whatnot. I feel like my name is here to stay. So <laughs> yes, I just want. I actually don't want my name branded on different things and people will definitely know who I am I want to have my autobiography out and I want to make a mark so that Ananda Brandy isn't just you know a name that people forget about I actually want when people say it like it actually has meaning like like true meaning so I really want to work on myself work on reaching the goals that I want to reach by 30 probably but I know I have a whole lifetime to really establish who I am but yeah I just want everyone to know that I am a trying woman just being myself and I want to help the world I just love helping so yeah hey for sure <laughs> well, it's you know this is going everywhere on the internet like I say my <laughs> name is Jojo. hey listen the 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 back in the day before the internet they said whenever you did something everything you did was recorded in some sort of book right yeah and now most people they uh voluntarily record their stuff in some sort of book it's called facebook and it's for everything so now we you can see us you can hear us and we everywhere like air you can be just like me lorenzo just make sure you spell my name different because my mom Oh, right. Lorenzo, spelt law, <laughs> yeah, we go. We gonna go ahead and show y'all the ways of the world through the rules of the words that we use. So I appreciate you for tapping in with me and allowing me to tap inside of you and sharing with the people who you are. And you know, maybe uh, later on we can do another interview and see where you went with things, maybe at school progress and stuff like that. Definitely. I think that'll be great. And thank you for having me and having me do my first interview with you. It was an honor. And like you said, just be chill. It's a conversation and we did have a good time. Yes. Yeah, thank you. For sure. for me. <laughs> no, for sure. So one time, once again, for everybody that didn't catch it before, they can catch it again. What is your information if they want to contact you? Facebook, Ananda Brandy, that's A-N-A-N-D-A-H, Brandy with a Y, B-R-A-N-D-Y. Instagram, Ananda.Brandy. Or email, BrandyAnanda at gmail.com. Reach me there and I'll definitely get back to you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, and I'll leave that stuff in the... Uh, descriptions somewhere yeah. around here it'll be typed out for those that are you know a little bit moving a little bit of slow with it so here yeah. we go we out of here this has been another young untouchable family lorenzo jacobs broadcast podcast show hey i appreciate you for showing up it's, it's gonna Thank be better you. For you know that right it, it, here we have I know it's only up from here. Thank yeah, you. This this is that introduction to the production. You hear me? <laughs> it is. I know. Already, I'll tap in with you later. I'll tap in with y'all guys later as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure.